Hey Libra, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for November 12th to the 13th of 2021. All right, let's get into it with the Oracle card message for my beautiful Libras. What do my Libras need to know in the next 48 hours, Spirit? November 12th to the 13th of 2021 for Libra. I hope I wasn't calling you Leo <laughs> for Libra. All right, we have 10, red, forgive. We have nine, phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? I love that it has 10 and nine. I feel like, I don't know, something's counting backwards. For the last few readings, I've been wanting to say from November 12th to the 11th. So something about counting backwards, something backwards. All right. We have number 41, Sundress, do it for you. And overall energy is number eight, wings. You never need those wings to fly. So you have literally 10, 9, 8. So that may be synchronistic. I'm going to write that down real quick. 10, 9, 8. Okay, so I feel like in the next 48 year, um, you get a happily ever after, but it makes others upset. Because I feel like there's a system in place or a person, place or thing that's trying to stop you from going after something. They wanted you to feel like you needed them. And I'm literally feeling it as like parents wanting you to feel like you need their um, shelter, their finances, their support and help for you to do something to achieve something. But you don't. I feel like some of you may have defied your parents or ran away or did something for your highest good. You were meant to do it. It was meant for you to do it. And it says do it for you. So you shut some shit down and you prove some people wrong, but you feel guilty about it. Or they they made you feel guilty because, you know, um, in certain situations, parents do that because they want to protect you. They want to help you. They don't want you to go through what they had to go through, right? But with red, forgive, you're trying to forgive yourself or forgive your parents or these this person, place, or thing that tried to stop you because I feel like someone tried to stop you, right? And you just shut it down. Overall energy is you never needed those wings to fly. So someone gave you some artificial wings and you see how it's a string attached to it? It's like, yeah, you're free to go. They gave you freedom, but at a limited cost. And look at how Grumpy Bear is like, mm, child, anyway. <laughs> and right underneath that, we have villain. You can always rewrite the story. So, and I'm getting clipped your wings. Someone tried to clip your wings. I'm going to write that down. Clipped wings. But you just took them off anyway. And you like they said, you didn't need it. But it's like you're trying to forgive yourself for it or forgive them. But let's get into the tarot for Libra. Next 48 hours for Libra. November 12th to the 13th of 2021 for Libra. One more shuffle for Libra next 48 all right let's see all right we have the hanged man pisces or says the hanged one same thing yeah you're seeing both sides of the situation and getting enlightenment that's how you're able to forgive the nine of wands you're persevering it's like you're gonna keep staying on track on course because you know this is what you're meant to do. You're divinely guided to. But I feel like you're at this point where you just feel kind of guilty. And you're just over. You're looking at the past and everything. And you're just seeing things reflecting. You're just reflecting on it and forgiving. We have the page of cups. It's a pleasant surprise though. You're you're about to reach that point. That sweet spot that you've been looking for. You're, you've been fighting for with the page of cups. Because I feel like there, this is an, you're on a journey that you're meant to be on. All right. You're on a path that you're meant to go on. And there's a pleasant surprise here, an offer that's meant for you. And you're about to like break right through and get that diamonds. Like, you know, you've seen that meme where you're mining and it's like people give up right before they get to the diamond, but you're not. You already know it's there. Even though you can't see it, you know it's there. So you're going to keep going. Nine of Pentacles. And right after I say that, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so you get that that gold rush, that payout, that financial independence and stability. Because you know it's there. You have the power of sight. You can feel and know that it's there without having to see it. And you just, you knew this whole time. But I just feel like, for some reason, you feel guilty. Overall energy is the three of swords. Maybe you didn't want to separate from these people. Because you love them. But you had to because you knew they were stunting your growth. And that can be heartbreaking on its own. 
Because it's like, how could the, the one thing, the people that's supposed to love me, the people I love, why, why? You know, why did I have to leave them behind so that I could get this? It could be heartbreaking and lonely to be successful and without these people, but you knew it's what you needed to do. It's like when it came to that point where you had to like choose whether you would stay or you would go, you knew you had to do what you had to do, but you didn't want to do it. So let's clarify this. Really, I feel like you're seeing the silver lining. I don't think it's, it may be a little heartbreaking to you, but I don't feel like it's going to last. You're, you're forgiving. You're learning to forgive, but I feel like it's going to break their hearts more. I feel like it's pride and ego though, because I see two people refusing to apologize to you or acknowledge your success. I'm getting a story. This isn't going to be for everyone, but it's like you have rich parents and they wanted you to stay in the business or stay in the family, but you decide to go off and do what you want to do with your life. Clarify this for Libra. Clarify this for Libra. The last shuffle for my beautiful Libra. It's like you end up making it on your own because that's just what you wanted to do. Clarifying the hanged man is the Knight of Wands and the nine of swords you may feel you may feel bad because you took off maybe you felt like you were you maybe you're reflecting on when you were younger around the age of 18 or maybe you are around the age of 18 i don't know or you're just reflecting on that time where you may have run away and you were just very flighty very free and you may be um um judging yourself too harshly from that you're definitely judging yourself very harshly from or maybe you have a child and you may have tried to stop them from being this way. But I feel like you're judging yourself way too harshly. That Knight of Wands, we all go through that time where we want to be free. And we want to chase our dreams. And we may go through that multiple times in life. Clarifying the Nine of Wands is the strength card, Leo. But you have the strength to persevere regardless. Whether someone is leaving you or you're leaving someone. But I feel like you are the one who's going separating yourself you are the knight of wands we have that ace of wands i feel like you may you're reflecting on a time where you were the knight of wands and you're i feel like you're still in that midst of things but you're more seasoned now and you're going to keep going you know this is what you're meant to do because you're and look, look what i said nine of wands clarified by the ace of wands you know that you're going it's tough now but you know you have to keep fighting because you know you're going to get that ace of wands, that new passionate beginning. I feel like, look at how you, you're taking it by the reins and you have it here as well. And you're just going to keep persevering. You know you're capable, but the only thing that's um, stopping you per se is guilt. Page of Cups, King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Ten of Cups. Ooh. You're getting a love offer? <laughs> You're getting a love offer. Some of you could be dating your boss. No judgment. But there's someone here, a teacher? You know what, child? That's none of my business. There's a king of pentacles here. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Someone who's very financially stable. Maybe they're, um, your parents or people try to stop you from dating this person or going off with this person because they were scared for you. Or you could be becoming this person. But I see this offer being made to you to for you to join this family, this Ten of Cups. What? That came out of nowhere. And I ain't even going to get into what that situation is, but it's a good one for you, okay? <laughs> Clarifying the Nine of Pentacles is the Death card, Scorpio. And Six of Swords. Oh, okay. I get what that is. Oh, that This part's about to be for a small percentage of you. Overall energy is the King of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So you're reflecting on a grandparent or a parent of some kind. They passed away recently. And that's, again, a small percentage of you. And they left behind um, some type of fin financial um, support for you. Whether that be an actual home or business they left for you or actual finances. Their passing is um, allowing you to go off and do something. And I feel like you're reflecting on when you were younger and you may have left them and because you wanted you wanted to live your own life and you may feel guilty now because at the time you're like, they tried to stop me and I'm not letting that happen. And then they pass away and leave this for you. And you're like, wow, this whole time they really loved me and cared about me. And I just left. Do not judge yourself for that. 
they were young once too and they know how that is they were never angry with you and you shouldn't judge yourself they know you needed to do this okay and some of you may have left one relationship for another and you feel guilty about it and you shouldn't <laughs> I mean, there as long as there was no cheating involved. But you know, I ain't gonna put guilt on no one. I'm, I'm not here to judge anyone. Forgive yourself. Spirit says forgive. Okay. I really don't think you should be judging. I feel like you're judging yourself too harshly for this. Because I feel like you thought this person was very cold, but they actually cared for you a lot. Yeah, because there was some confusion here. For some of you, this is a relationship. For some of you, this is family. But um, yeah, you walked away from um, a soulmate connection and away from confusion because you walked away towards something that you wanted to do, something you wanted to be with. And I feel like you may have hurt someone's feelings in the process, but you, you had to walk towards your wish fulfillment, your destiny, because I feel like you're judging yourself for being a player or whatever. But you, you went towards something that was best for you of your highest good. And that's what you were meant to do. And if you decide to leave a situation and be on your own, that's what you decided to do. Clarifying the Nine of Pentacles is the Six of Swords. You're letting it go. You're letting it end. And some of you may be used to being single with that Knight of Wands. And you're settling down and leaving behind the single life. But I feel like the person who's heartbroken, you may, I feel like you're, you feel guilty about breaking someone else's heart. And maybe you feel heartbroken by it or by someone's passing. Cause I feel like you realize that this person loves you a lot, but you're going towards something else that's best for you. I feel like you love both of these things, your own independence and freedom and this new person and this past person. You're just having some type of inner conflict over leaving a situation. But you do get some financial independence that allows you to move forward calmly is this this is going to go different for everyone but the overall the overarching story is you're judging yourself for your past behaviors for leaving someone and then you get you end up going towards something new that's good for you starting your own family or whatever in your own financial independence and then you find out this person left you something or you're just reflecting i'm going to leave it there cuz the story's starting to get muddled if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you'd like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste, Libra.